So it's been over four years since Garmin released their Wi-Fi connected smart scale, the Index, and it turned out to be quite popular. And today, Garmin's releasing the brand new Index S2 that comes with a new high resolution color display, a slimmer profile, as well as some other features. In terms of features, well, first off, it measures your weight, of course, but it can also collect other body composition metrics like your body fat percentage, BMI, skeletal muscle mass, bone mass, as well as your body water percentage. And the Index S2 is also gonna be great for those of you who live in a household that has more than one Garmin user. And I'll get to that detail here in just one second after we go through the normal setup process. So it comes in this nice, attractive, well-padded box, and you'll get the scale inside along with a set of four AAA batteries. And then these little round things right here are gonna be risers in case you wanna use the Index S2 on carpet. The scale itself is honestly really gorgeous with its super glossy glass top, and it's probably one of the best looking scales around in my opinion. I mean, honestly, I'd display this probably in my living room. On the bottom of the unit, there's a battery compartment that houses those four AAA batteries, which should get you about nine months of use before you'll have to replace the batteries. And then with the little riser blocks, these just have a little adhesive on them, and then you just stick those on the bottom of each of the four feet if you need them. Also on the button is going to be a reset button, which is going to be used to first set it up, as well as add the Index S2 to additional Wi-Fi networks. And then also there's going to be a little toggle, which switches from stones, kilograms, or pounds. To start setting it up, you'll press that reset button on the back, and then this little graphic pops up that prompts you to pair it with Garmin Connect. And you pretty much only need to do this once unless you want to connect it to an additional Wi-Fi network later on down the road, and more on that in a little second. Anyhow, it uses Bluetooth for this portion of the setup, but for all your weigh-ins, you actually don't even need your phone around because all your weigh-ins actually update to Garmin Connect over Wi-Fi, which is incredibly convenient. So you'll go ahead and add the device like you would do any other Garmin device, and then you'll enter a pin for the Bluetooth pairing, and then it should just connect. From here, you'll want to enter your name or initials, and this is limited to four characters, and then this is going to be displayed in a nice large font on the scale itself during the weigh-ins. The next step is to connect it to your Wi-Fi network, and this is just as simple as connecting it to any other device on your Wi-Fi. And before we get to the actual weigh-ins, let's take a quick look at these settings. So here's where you can change your display name, and then you can also choose which widgets will display during your actual weigh-ins. You can also access your user settings directly from here, and I'll refer to this activity class setting here in just a bit, because this setting can have an effect on the biometric data. Under the general settings, you'll be able to manage people, manage the connected Wi-Fi networks, as well as the time and date formats. And then from here, you're ready to weigh in. So for the actual weigh-in, you'll just simply tap on the scale to wake it up. After stepping on the scale, it'll first display your weight, and at the top here, it also shows the difference between your last weigh-in and this one. It then moves onto a screen that displays your name, and what's cool is that you can have up to 15 users, and we'll see that process here in a second. The next screen is pretty neat, where it shows a weight trend graph that shows trends in your weight from previous weigh-ins, which I think is good for seeing a broader picture of your weight over a time, rather than just seeing from one day to another. And then from here, it'll start to display the widgets that you saw earlier in the settings. So there's gonna be body mass index, your body fat percentage, skeletal muscle mass, bone mass, body water percentage, and then it'll also display the weather, which may seem a little bit odd, but honestly, I think this is kind of neat to have if you're doing morning weigh-ins. And then finally, it loops back to show your weight. And then in Garmin Connect, you'll be able to see all your weigh-ins for a particular day. Even if you choose to do multiple weigh-ins per day, it'll save all of these. It won't just overwrite the last weigh-in with the most current one. You can see the change in weight since the last weigh-in, as well as all of those biometrics that you saw on the scale itself. You can then dive in to see your trends over a seven day period. And that's not only weight, but you can see your BMI trends, body fat percentage trends, skeletal muscle mass, bone mass, as well as body water percentage trends. And then it'll also show your averages for that particular period, which just like the weight trends, it allows you to see a broader picture rather than just focus in on one way in. And then you can also see these over the course of four weeks or up to a year. In terms of the accuracy of all these biometrics, these are generally fairly accurate for most individuals, but if you're on the really active and really lean side of things, they may be a little bit off. So in my case, I generally hover around that eight to 10% body fat percentage range, and it was registering about 12 to 13%. And you can actually change your activity class in Garmin Connect, which will have an impact on these metrics. So I keep my activity class at 10, which is generally about right for the level activity I do. And consumer level scales can be a little bit off in this department. What I think is most important with these type of scales is that the numbers need to be very consistent. So I've used scales before where the numbers can be wildly off from one way into another, even within the same minute. But what's nice about the Index S2 is that I saw consistent numbers come out of this thing, even during multiple weigh-ins within just a couple minutes of each other. And then in terms of adding additional users, it's gonna be really simple, where all you do is go into the settings of the S2 on Garmin Connect, and then you invite people to use the scale. And you'll need to have the person as a connection in Garmin Connect. 
The person will receive a notification that they have an invitation to use the scale, and then they'll enter their name or initials, and then confirm that their gender identification, height, weight, and birth date are correct. And these are, were already pulled from my Garmin Connect profile, and then you'll choose an activity level, and that's pretty much it. And when an additional user hops on the scale, it'll first display the weight, but in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice a little arrow with another user profile. So the Index S2 can actually automatically distinguish between different users based on their weight. But if for some reason you need to switch to another user manually, you can actually just tap on the scale and it'll just toggle to the next user. And you can have up to 15 different people connected to the scale. And then lastly, you can connect the Index S2 with up to seven Wi-Fi networks, and you'll be able to travel with the scale and hook it up to different Wi-Fi networks. So that's everything new with the Garmin Index S2 Wi-Fi Connected Smart Scale. It provides some pretty accurate data, it's really attractive, and I think it's gonna be a really compelling option for those of you who live in a household that has more than one Garmin user. Anyhow, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for plenty more sports tech videos that are coming soon, including the review of these two guys. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.